my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm going to be showing you my minimalist wardrobe. I don't know if you can have this much clothes and call yourself a minimalist, but it's true. Pretty much all of my clothes fits on this clothing rack with the exception of some winter pieces and so many of you are asking for a little wardrobe tour. I do use the color coding method. Your clothes they can change your persona <laughs> and makeup and like all these things can really just change the way you present yourself and sometimes that can be really positive and really fun. Like I literally just feel like I'm playing dress up every day. But let's get into it, man. Over here we have this plant. This is a snake plant and his name is Wilfred. And then down here, this is a case that I thrifted. I have some, oh shit, one second. The last time I closed this, I slammed it really hard, and I don't know if it's going to open now. Oh. Okay, so in here, I really don't think I'm a minimalist. I have a little trunk full of clothes. It is clothes that I like, but I don't wear too often. I don't need to clutter my clothing rack by putting these things on here. Stuff that I'm not sure if I want to give away yet. These are my pretty much only like summer shorts that I own, and I didn't want to whip these out yet because it's not hot enough. I have my bonnet. Let me demonstrate for you how freaking adorable this is. Oh my gosh. And then I just have a bunch of flowers in here. Then I also use it to put my laptop in it and for picnics. But I just keep this down here. Up here I have some necklaces. And these are my most worn. A few months ago, I don't know if you guys remember, I said I wanted to switch to gold jewelry and then the transition was very easy. I know that's a really my new and annoying change to hear someone say like, I think I want to start wearing gold. But I have my little gold necklace collection and I have some earrings here. I have the one winter coat that I still wear. It's so cute. It looks like this. I just feel like a goddamn marshmallow when I wear this. It's so snuggly, like I can just hug myself. I'm probably going to retire this one as, it's gonna be in the 80s this week, guys. I'm excited. So here's where the majority of my clothing lives. Because if I haven't worn it in five months, I just have to be real with myself. Do I actually like this? Do I actually need this? And that's how I kind of learn how to donate shit. But anyways, I have all of my black clothing here. I like to hang up my bras. It's just annoying to have to dig through a bunch of lace to find them. I have a black dress, a bodysuit, two pairs of trousers, and then I just have this see-through top. Yeah, you know, just your basic stuff. I guess I should just show you the pieces that I really like. This is a thrifted Reformation dress, which if you guys know, Reformation is ethical and sustainable, but they're just expensive. This I've been wearing a lot. This is a really nice color, just super frilly on the bottom. I like wearing it with sneakers and more sporty things. Like I feel like a Spice Girl when I style this. Here's another bra. This one is from Free People I've had forever. I love how thin the straps are. And of course, I still have my Christian Dior nightgown. Because how am I going to get rid of that? I don't know. I like to wear this on full moon. Still one of my favorite witchy pieces. This coat is by Neiman Marcus, but I thrifted it. It is like a circus. You know, I feel like I'd be taming lions and putting on a show for people, even though I don't really support the circus, but that's what this reminds me of. And I love the pastel. It's really just all out there. Part of me wants to like paint something on it with white paint on the back. So we'll see how that evolves. This is one of my favorite vests, but I never wear it. Actually, it's my only vest. It's like a painter's vest. It has this big pocket. When I go foraging upstate New York, I like to put twigs back here and I just put things in it. It's so practical. And then there's also these little pockets for paint and paint brushes. So this is so cute. And I thrifted it upstate in some random town. Just some cream pieces. You know, we have a lace dress. One of my favorite vintage bras, which has absolutely no padding, but it just fits really well. And I like this crisscross in the front of it. And there are little pearls on the strap. I have a white pair of pants. And I still have this, which I thrifted. It says El Salvador. This reminds me of Megan Hughes. And she's just all about them sunflowers. I feel like I should send this to her. And maybe I still will after I wear it a few more times and give it more love, but I love wearing this with my go-go boots. 
my overalls, you know, I gotta have one pair of overalls, a bodysuit. If you guys have been watching me for a while, then you remember this red piece. It's amazing. It's so bright too, so vibrant. Red is one of my favorite colors. I just really like it. These are my red trousers that I wear all the time, and then I have this like red schoolgirl cardigan. I got this at my clothing swap, so shout out to whoever gave this to me or whoever I got this from. We all unanimously agreed that it kind of is a Jackie Kennedy style blazer type thing, and it's just very classy. I feel like I can wear this in front of my grandma, but I can also style it really cute with a tube top or a tank top underneath and some high-waisted pants. And then the last pair of pants I have on here are my Ralph Lauren plaid trousers, which I gained weight and these didn't fit me anymore, but then I lost weight and now they fit me, so that's fun. And then I just have some sweaters atop. <laughs> I thrifted this at Artists and Fleas. Like, wow. I have some fruit stickers in here. This is what's in my bag. I have my thrifted wallet. This I thrifted in Santa Barbara years ago. At the end of my clothing rack, I have some scarves. These are my most worn. I definitely have a few more, but these I tied up here because they go with most of my pieces really easily. This is just a top, and I have my little handkerchief here. when I'm trying to be dramatic, but no. I actually use that a lot. It's really nice to have a handkerchief. You always have something to blow your nose in. And then the last hanging bra that I have is this one, which is also from Free People that I got ages ago. And it just really displays the boobs really nicely. I love it. So over here, we have the section where I keep my bras and my underwear, and it's not as cute, you know? I'm not like obsessed with white looks, but it really works. Bras and underwear in here. I really like putting my bras out nicely because I want them to keep their shape and Bras are freaking expensive. I've had some of my bras for years. They still are intact because I hand wash them and air dry them and I keep them shapely on a shelf. I just thrifted this little garter belt, which is so cute. I haven't tried it on yet, but like, mommy's excited. And this was only 12 bucks. I love the back of garter belts. This is the cutest part is when you're wearing like a little underwear and this just flatters your booty so much. My favorite vintage strapless bra, you guys always ask me, whenever I wear tube tops or anything off the shoulder, I'm wearing this baby. This I thrifted at Unique Thrift Store. It's actually a little bit too small, but that probably helps to keep it tight. But I really like this one. It's beautiful and there's not a lot of padding, which another key for strapless bras, like just have it there to hold your boobs up, not to push, because then that just adds more weight for it to slip down. Over here, I just have a bunch of tops. These are more summery ones. I have more t-shirts down here. Right here, I have a bunch of skirts, and I'm really excited to bust these out. some workout clothes down here and some pajama shorts. I have some sports bras also for working out that I didn't want to put up here. Yeah, man, I actually, I, I still have a good amount of clothes, you know, I'm using maybe 30 hangers and then all these folded things. So I genuinely don't think that I need to be that much of a minimalist right now, especially when I am just buying good quality pieces that I know that I'll wear for a while. So this is just where I am on my journey. I hope this video inspires you to do some spring cleaning because it feels so much better to not have a closet full of crap that you don't really know if you're gonna wear or you don't really know what's in there. Just go through it, man. Donate half of it and you just have like so much more room to think and to do things and you don't have to worry about doing laundry as much. Get rid of the old and bring in the new man. Bring in new pieces that are good quality and um, that make you feel good and that you identify with. Like I was saying in the beginning of the video, clothes can really change the way that you act and feel in this world. So hopefully you can find things that 
help you embody what you're trying to move into. Successful, powerful, strong, independent, or, you know, creative artist, you know? Which is how I feel when I wear this guy. So, yeah, clothes are actually powerful and can change someone's whole demeanor. And so, you know, just make sure the clothes that you have in your closet and wardrobe are things that you really fuck with, basically. So thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And please subscribe if you're not already. I mean, you're already here. You might as well just do it. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. Thank you.